Okay, this is the one you should be able to get through real fast and get quick points on, on the Chem 110B sample final. Number eight, what is the empirical formula of a compound if a 2.014 gram sample contains 1.457 grams of iron and 0 0.557 grams of oxygen? Well, all that tells you with that number being the sum of this and this is that only iron and oxygen are in the compound. So, 1.457 grams of iron and 0 0.557 grams of oxygen. Our job is to try to convert these into moles and look at the counting number ratio behind them, between them. Iron is right here and it's 55.85 which is close enough to 56, believe it or not. But you can use 55.85, it'll be the same thing. And oxygen is 16 grams per one mole. So this gives us the moles of each. Let's do a quick calculation for that. 1.457 divided by 56 is 0 0.0260 moles of the Fe and 0.557 divided by 16 is 0.0348 moles of the O. And our job is to find the counting number ratio between them. So our next step is divide both by the smallest number of moles. Which leaves us with 1Fe and 1.33, oxygens, okay? So, you don't round here instead, because a 1 to 1 ratio isn't the same as a 1 to 1.3 ratio. We have to multiply both by the factor of 3. 1 times 3 is 3 Fe's. 3 times 1.34 is 4 O. So how do you write that as a formula? Fe 3 O 4. That's it. That's the Lewis dot structure. I'm sorry, that's the empirical formula. That took me three minutes even while explaining it. So you definitely need to be really good at this and the other one that's on the, the sample final and on the final. For a re review, you can do Chem 110A, your sample final, or your actual final exam whenever you took it, or Chapter 8, Exercises 8, C, and D. Good luck.